the end of the day, the two most valuable resources for everything you want in your life, it's not complicated, emotional states, energy, that's it, think about it. If you don't feel good, how are you gonna enjoy this thing we call life? If you don't feel good, people don't wanna be around you. And not to mention also, if you don't feel good, how are you gonna stop yourself from saying things you know you shouldn't be saying? It's almost a cliche, oh, I should have said this, I should have said that, but that's because you're not addressing the core. That's where all the concepts you're getting from the books, videos, maybe even your counselor, you got some great concepts, but no ability to execute. When you can control your emotions, that is the foundation for that. Again, just making everything very simple here. So the reason why you've probably looked back at your life and said, wow, things are not going the way I want, that's because you've never addressed the core before. But when you feel fantastic, that gives you all the, the odds in your favor to actually execute in the way that's, uh, that, that's gonna behoove you and your relationship. But at the end of the day, when you feel great, you're just good. And that's what everyone wants. So let's keep things simple here. But any process you're gonna do to resurrect yourself, your relationships, and your life has to start with that foundation. It does not matter what you know. All your concepts go out the window as soon as you feel fear, sadness, anger. As soon as you feel that stuff, what good are your concepts? They're worth nothing. So it does not matter what you know, it matters what you can do. And if you can't control your emotions, you effectively know zero. Any process you're gonna to do to you know, work on your relationships and your life needs to dress at the core. Number two, energy. Energy is the fuel for everything you're looking for. You know, how are you gonna make your dreams come true? How are you gonna make your relationship to the next level if you don't have any gas in the gas tank? Does that make sense? But that's not a concept, that's a skill, that's a conditioning. And by the way, on that note, a lot of people talk about mindsets and, uh, and beliefs. That's not really what they're looking for. If you think about it, how are you gonna have a mindset when you feel like shit? How's that gonna work out? Your ability to execute is a conditioning, it's the way you feel. The conditioning is actually what allows you to execute a mindset or execute a belief. Beliefs and, and mindsets alone, without the conditioning, without that energy, without that fuel, they're worthless. So at the end of the day, what everyone really wants is a conditioning. And again, that's a skill, that's a process, that's not, that's not a concept. And that's why my, the people that work with me, my clients that do the Refocus on Happiness program, they're good either way. Hey, some people get back together their exes, some don't, and most of them don't even want that person back. But when you feel great, it's a whole different level, not just for your relationships, but for your entire life. So let's kind of close up here. Two most valuable resources, energy and emotional states. When you feel great, you speak great. When you feel great, you just execute a completely different level. That's what makes all your techniques actually executable. Um, and if you, any, when, if any of you are dealing with stuff where you're trying to get you know, a, a job back, a business back, relationship back, you first have to get you back. And again, to get you back, that's conditioning. When you get you back first, and you're now at this level, people want to line up with you. Think about it. A lot of you are dealing with breakups and you're kind of in a rut, you're in a fog. No one wants to be around you. And you the decision to be in a relationship is an emotional decision. It's not logical. You know, you can't take a PowerPoint presentation and say, oh, you're going to want to be around me because of A, B, and C. It doesn't work like that. People either want to be around you or they don't based on how they feel when they're around you. So if you have a relationship that's not going so well, you have all the concepts in the world, but if you're not enjoyable to be around, Good luck with that, that's not gonna work out very well. You can have all the best qualities in the world, but if someone doesn't enjoy their experience with you, that's not gonna work out too well. But to get yourself back there, you can't concept your way there. That's a conditioning, that's, a, that's your ability to control the way you feel, okay? So again, uh, I'll kinda close on this note here. Steve Martin has a great phrase. He says, be so good at what you do, people cannot ignore you. I'm gonna show you such, I'm gonna make it so obvious what is available to you when you actually finally dress the core. And by the way, on that note, uh, again, this is this is a, a biological process. It allows you to rewire, recondition your brain like you re, well, like you recondition a muscle. I got doctors to do my program. Why do you think that is? A lot of you might have heard the idea of neuroplasticity, brain cells that fire together and wire together, but this is a true practical experience allowing you to recondition, rewire your brain like you recondition muscle. Same thing. And again, it allows you to keep moving at higher and higher levels. Um, but anyway, so bottom line is that is what addresses the core. That's what allows you to take your, your relationships and your life to levels you ultimately want to go. Anyway, enjoy it. I'm gonna make this so obvious for you in this, the end part of this video here, where you see a bunch of people that are just like you, uh, same situations. At the end of the day, no offense to you guys, but your, your situation is not as unique as you think it is. You have a brain that is capable of incredible things if you give it the right process, the right condition, the right stimulus. You have no idea what you're capable of. And again, at the end of the day, everything you've done is because you want to feel a certain way, but to feel a certain way consistently, that's a conditioning process, and that's why you're gonna to wanna to address the core. So enjoy the video, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Uh, go to refocusonhappiness.com. What you wanna do is you wanna click the button at the top, contact Lance, very, very easy form. When you go there, you'll see you'll put your name, your last name, your email address, and your phone number. And I will get in touch with you in just a few days, okay? Um, just be a little patient. 
I got a lot of people I work with, but I'll get in touch with you in 72 hours maximum. But uh, but after you do that, contact uh, Lance uh, Link. Uh, feel free to scroll around here. Um, again, Steve Martin has a great phrase. He says, be so good at what you do, people can ignore you. If you scroll down, you'll see testimonials from psychologists, uh, doctors, zillions and zillions and zillions of past clients, including medical directors, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, like I said, I'm making this so obvious for you. What I represent for you, what I believe, the only reason you would not do this is if you're a glutton for punishment. Um, so yeah, feel free to take a good look around. Again, I'm gonna make it very clear what I represent for you if this is something you're serious about, okay? Uh, awesome, look forward to speaking to you soon. It's about trust yourself. And here's the way to bring it down to the most basic level. Once you know you are, just repeat this phrase to yourself every day. You ready for it? I don't care what you say, I care what you do. And that's awesome. And I'm very excited. As soon as you say, I'm going to you, as soon as you show me something different, I'm going to believe you the very first time. That's it. You make it simple. Not so complicated. I was sick and tired of hurting, and I needed to change. I had to physically, mentally, emotionally change quickly, or it, was just, it wasn't going to be pretty. And so, we, you know, you and I talked, and um, and we started that night, and it was. It was been nothing but a but an uphill, amazing journey to the top of the mountain to look around and say, yeah, yeah. I feel pretty damn good. Okay, so um, actually what brought me to you was um, last year I was having a very challenging time. Um, I've been married for 13 years and um, I would say very happily for about eight of those 13 years. And last year, my husband up and left to Belize. And um, it was just kind of a shock. I have a 10 year old daughter. She was nine at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, he didn't show up for Christmas, didn't show up for New Year's, didn't show up for our vacations that I had planned. Uh, and I was a little devastated to say the least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, when I found you, it was right before Valentine's Day. And I already knew in my heart, like, I'm not going to take this shit. This is baloney. <laughs> you know? no, no, this no. is baloney. Yeah. But I just felt like so, uh, I, I, I just was beside myself. And um, I knew I had to kind of do something because in that six week period, there was um, Valentine's Day and then also our wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. And right before Valentine's Day, he basically came back to California for three days and then said, I'm going back to Belize. And I was just like, oh my God, who is this person? I don't even know who this guy is, <laughs> you know? But I'm so glad, so, so glad that I found you because in that time, I wanna say um, within the six weeks of doing your course, I think I went on vacation twice. Mm -hmm. um, I got a promotion <laughs> you know, that, 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 in that, that six weeks. That, that, that's not a surprise at all. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, so. Um, uh, you know, I wouldn't say promotion. I mean, I, I was asked to be become part of the management team. So, I mean, it was like a promotion to me. Yeah. And, and um, made more money, right? Yes. Yes. That's, that sounds like a promotion. More, money, more opportunities. Yes. And um, and really, I'm just so grateful because um, that six weeks, I was kind of be, beside myself. And within one week of doing your program, I want to say, because I looked back through my notes and already within one week, I was feeling, you know, better, more mm -hmm. confident. Um, I'd say overall in this last year, I have more faith that like more hope for a better future for myself and for my daughter. Um, so, and it, you know, I'm just, I'm really grateful for this practice that you taught me because it's something that I can, you know, use again and again and again um, to make really my daily living better, my daily life, my daily attitude, my everything be mm -hmm. better. And sometimes I kind of get away from it. And then right when I go back to it, I'm like, why don't I do this all the time? This <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not, and it is hard, but I want to say it's not easy, but it's simple but no one can do the push-ups for me, right? Mm -hmm. And um, 
you know, it's, it was worth every penny. I still, I, you know, and I'm in sales, but I'd say it was worth, <laughs> it was worth every penny. And, um, you know, I'm really grateful because it not only got me through this challenging time, but still ongoing, you know, I'm still, um, going through this dissolution and, and I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm in a good space. Good. Good for you. How do you, so let me ask this here. How do you feel about your future? I feel hopeful. I, I feel very hopeful, you know, because I have a 10 year old daughter. I really took this whole uh, decision, you know, with a heavy heart, kind of like, oh my gosh, well, you know, is this the right thing to do? And, um, you know, and ultimately I had to say like, well, wait, this is how I'm teaching my daughter that this is what a healthy yeah. relationship looks like. Yep. And that's the bottom line not the commitment that, you know, I mean, already anyways, uh, you know, the commitment, the caring, the communication that's been out the window for a while. Mm -hmm. So um, it was just kind of coming to terms with that for myself and knowing like, you know, is this a kind of um, uh, representation I want to <coughs> give to my daughter? And the answer is absolutely not. The, this is not normal. This is not natural. Bye-bye. I deserve better. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is gonna connect really well. I told you, I'm speaking to someone like in a few minutes here. Like, I mean, this is exactly what she needs to hear. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but it's, yeah. it's true. It's like it's like you know, you're you're showing your kids the model of how to the the way to go about this thing we call life. And you can either go to Harvard and you're gonna teach them to go go for it, go for it all, or you're gonna go to local state school. And you know, that's just biggest one of the biggest regrets in life is knowing there's a better way and you fail to act. But if you go all out for yourself, you leave no stone unturned. Not only do you shift the odds in your favor, but you you leave a beautiful model for your kids, you know, your daughter for in this case here. So like you, you owe it to yourself. Why would you not do that? So, right. um, yeah. And, and just think one day you'll be able to teach her a process that she, it's not that she's not have challenges, but they, they might not be nearly as hard as they were for you. What a great legacy to live. Yeah. And it's not insurmountable. And in the big, in the big scheme of things, people go through things like this all the time. It's just my time in the tunnel. Right. And now I'm seeing that, you know, it's kind of like I tell myself, you know, when you're going through when you're going through hell, don't stop and pitch a tent. For God's sakes, keep going. <laughs> you know? And um, so you really are helping me with that. Like, you know, hey, let's get let's get going a little bit more. We got to get through this. <laughs> um, you know, it's not just the hope for for my future, but it's like this kind of deep knowing that like God's got something better for me. I just have to make room, mm -hmm. you know, I have to make room and hold on to that. God's got something better for me. Let's not, you know, bask in this misery. Let's keep moving, <laughs> right? Move towards the light. No, I'm, so, I'm yeah. And so that's been really reassuring. I'd say my confidence has grown. Mm -hmm. My faith muscle has grown. My hope for my future and my daughter's future has grown.